When you are the head, you become the headline. When you are the top, you become the topic. Don't worry about what other people think about you. Now in today's video, I want to talk about how to deal with negative people, how to deal with negative comments. I'm here to encourage someone out there on this short video to keep pushing, keep moving. Like I said earlier, when you are on top, you become the topic. I saw that I think on Facebook or, or Facebook or on TikTok. I'm like, wow, I like that. When you are on top, you become the topic. And when you're at the head, you become the headline. So don't worry about what people are saying about you. Keep doing what you are doing. Keep making positive moves. Keep making changes to benefit your life and the people around you. People are going to talk. Everyone is not supposed to like you. That would be a problem if everyone likes you. That's not a good thing. Some people are there to push you. When they talk down on you, when they are negative, that's when you are being pushed. Don't take it to heart. Don't isolate yourself. Don't go in hiding and want to beat yourself up because you want people to love you. Everyone is supposed to like you. So keep doing what you need to be doing to better yourself and better your life and better your future. That's what's most important. You see, when people see you going to, 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 to the next level, they become afraid. For example, if you are doing a regular job, all of a sudden you become the boss, the CEO. You have to dress different. You have to talk differently. You have to move differently. You have to perform differently because now you are held to a higher standards. You are held more accountable because now you are in charge of that company. And now people that you used to hang with or used to talk to might see you differently. And then they will be afraid of what you are reflecting back to them. So that fear might make them to leave your life. That fear might make them to talk about you. Oh, she's acting different. Oh, she's doing something different. That's okay. They get scared by what's, you know, what's being reflected back to them. So don't blame people when they talk about you, when they try to judge you. Don't blame them. They see something different. When people give their life to God, and they become, you know, they're in charge, they're praying more, fasting more. People call them all kinds of names because they're afraid of what's being reflected back to them. We used to smoke together. We used to drink together. What's going on? They're not used to what's being reflected back. Yes, as a human being, you may get offended when people talk about you, say negative things about you. Yeah, sometimes it will bother you. But don't let it hold you back. Keep moving. The Bible says, many are called, few are chosen. If you are that chosen one, you know, to make that big move, nothing can stop it. Absolutely nothing that can stop the move in the hands of God over your life. So that person that hits you and talk down on you will not stop the hands of God over your life. So there's no need. Keep moving. Keep pushing. Keep elevating yourself. Keep elevating your life because, you know, that's your time. Everyone's not supposed to like what you are doing. You know, this video I'm shooting right now, some people may not like my lipstick, the color, or, or the way I talk, or the color I'm wearing, or just me doing this video. That's just human beings. That's part of life. It is normal. It is okay. Don't let that bother you. Don't let that bring you down. Don't go isolate yourself. Don't go hide in the corner and beat yourself up because the next person don't like you or your friend, you lost a friend. That friend may, you know, they don't need to be there at that season of your life. They were there before at one point, yes. But the new blessing that God has placed in your life, everyone will not be there to celebrate with you. So don't blame people when you're doing good, you know, in life, and everyone not there to celebrate you. It's okay. 
You're building your dream home, keep building. You know, you're buying your new car, keep moving. You know, you're getting married, keep going. People will be there to celebrate that moment with you. But not everyone will be there. Don't expect everyone to be there. Like I said, what you're reflecting back to them may scare them. They're not used to it. They're used to all of you being on that same level. Once you start to make that move, they're like, oh, what's going on? There's a change going on somewhere. They can't stand it. They can't understand it. It may not even be jealousy. It's just that they can't understand what's going on. You know, some people are not used to change. So don't let that bother you. Don't let that move you. Don't let that put you down. Keep being you. Keep doing what you need to do. Keep elevating yourself. Keep trying to make moves to elevate your family. And don't be stagnated. When you're stagnated, nobody sees you. When you're in your little bubble, nobody sees you. So they cannot talk about you because you're in your little bubble. You're not moving. You are stagnated. But once you move from that stagnation and start to make moves, that's when you are being seen. It's like a water. When you don't move the water, I had, I had a pool in my backyard. We had to keep filtering the pool, putting chemicals in it so the water can move. The minute you don't do that, the problem gets decay and you cannot use that water anymore because it's not moving. In order for the water to do good and be useful, it has to move. So like human beings, you have to move. Once you're stagnated, no one sees you, no one cares about you. But the minute you make that first move, that's when all the demons wakes up. You will have some friends that will be there to celebrate with you. You may make some new friends along the way. It is okay. Those friends that didn't come along with you, their season is over. Don't push it. Their season is over. Okay? So, don't look at jealousy as a negative thing. Keep making your moves. You cannot be, I, I cannot be a boss and be jealous of my get man. You know, that's not possible because I'm the boss of the house. I can fire you and I can hire you. You know, I cannot be, I, can, I cannot be, you know, jealous of my good man. Like I said, I'll put you there. So when people are jealous of you, just take a look back and say, oh, wow. Okay, I get it. You're right. And keep moving. Don't let that stop you. Don't go hide in the closet and cover your face. You cannot be like everyone else. You are unique in your own way. Keep loving God, loving yourself, loving your family, and make positive moves to better yourself, your life, your community, your family. My advice to you in this video is surround yourself with positive people. Surround yourself with people that will lift you up. Surround yourself with people that have the same mindset as you. I also saw something again on Facebook. You know, show me your friends and I will show you your future. Some friends you are there to help elevate them, to motivate them, you know, to help them reach their full potential and their destiny. You know, but some friends, they are there in your life just to keep, you know, taking from you. To keep taking from you, bringing you down. People will talk about you. People will bring you down. But my advice again, surround yourself with people that will uplift you. People that will motivate you. People that will celebrate you. Accept you for who you are. No matter what level you are on. Okay? So don't worry about the people that you lose. That's okay. That's the season. The season is over. You see them. You speak to them. You smile at them, you know. And keep moving. And keep moving. And keep moving. Don't create any hatred for anyone. Forgive people. Let it go. People will talk. They are supposed to talk. They are there to help you. You know? People will talk. They're there to help you. So it's not a big deal. This person is talking about me, trying to do this. Yeah. You know, let me fix my hair a little bit. You know? I used to be so afraid of that. Hide myself in a little corner because you know, I just I, I, I want to be so comfortable, you know. Don't make moves, you know. You know, what, what will happen? Afraid, you know, of what people will say or think. And then all of a sudden I'm like, what am I doing? Time is going. Time is not waiting for me. Keep going. Don't worry about all those people. 
Don't worry about those people. Surround yourself with positive people. It's so much going on in the world today. You cannot afford to be put down by your own friends. So if you're in a circle of friends that are putting you down, are talking about you, created a group chat about you to put you down and criticize your body, criticize your hair, the way you talk, the way you parent your children, the way you the way you are in your marriage. <laughs> if you can, if they cannot come to you and say, Oh man, you know, mom, let's try this. Oh, I heard this. Let's do this. And they, they, they create a group chat to talk about you or bring you down or they laugh at you. You know, there's no need to keep them in that circle. Your time is up. I don't blame them. I blame you for sticking around and letting it bother you. Maybe you didn't know, but now I'm telling you, it took me a while too. I used to be that one. A friend to make changes. I'm going to keep my same circle of friends, you know. And if it's not doing you any good, you have to keep moving forward. You have to keep moving forward. Don't worry about negative comments. They will come. We have done it ourselves. We are putting other people down before. So it will come back to us too. But don't stay there. Don't stay in that, neg that negativity. Keep moving. Don't be stagnated. You got to move. You got to make moves. And once you move... That's when it's like, oh, there she go. There he go. Remember, when you are on top, you become the topic. And we are when you are the head, you become the headline. You are not ordinary. You are extraordinary. Keep making boss moves. But God has blessed. Absolutely. No man can curse. And when you are the chosen one, nothing. Again. Absolutely nothing can stop it. Until then, I'll see you on my next video.